welcome back to my TV roundup. On to casualty now and after Man City won the Champions League and completed the treble, Jack Grealish has taken things a little bit too far with his celebrations this time. Leave that in here and go out there and start fresh. Oh. Moving over to the recess area and this guy is not very considerate with his timing. Do you know where you are? If you could ease yourself across please. She's under arrest on suspicion of people trafficking. I need to speak to her as soon as possible. Uh, sorry, she's sort of like bleeding out here at the moment, mate. Could you maybe give her five minutes? Look, I know you have a job to do, but she might have information. And who are you exactly? Uh, I'm gonna go with a police officer. What a stupid question. What do you mean, who are you? DC Rowan. Oh, I was right. Does anyone know this police officer's real name, though? And can we get DC whatever his name is out of here, please? I I'm not sure that's it. Jody, do you know his name? Wait, Ryan. Did Officer whatever his name is say? So can't be his name. Sorry mate, do you know the police officer's name? I think officer, whatever his name is, probably has a little bit more information than you did. Oh, there's Jacob. I wonder how he's getting on with that new MacBook I bought for his birthday. <laughs> Careful mate, that cost like two grand. Homes Under the Hammer is back. And I never realised how much of a banger the theme tune is. <laughs> Dion Dublin almost pees himself and finds the toilet just in time. Right, I found it. I came straight upstairs looking for that. Later on, Dion tells us what his ex-wife needs more of. A big hug. It needs a bit of TLC. It needs a bit of care and attention given to it. There's a man that can barely breathe because his turtle net zipped up all the way to his chin. There's Ifa and Adra. They're heavily involved. Dion's making a homemade lasagna and he's very excited about it. This is going to be a beauty when it's finished. You've got like different sort of colours. You've got a black screen there, you've got a green screen. I would imagine the, uh, the model would be stood here. Oh, he's not going to pose, is he? Doing stuff like... Um, like uh, maybe a bit of a... Yeah, let's stop it. Ah, you gotta love Dion. Uh, see if you can notice this lady's tick. It's quite subtle, so you might not notice it. Three bed mid terrace, which came with a pretty low guide price. Here it is. Oop. Mid sentence sometimes she'll just oop. Five thousand pounds, just five thousand pounds. That's not the front door, surely. But look. <laughs> with this very own sliding door. Oh my god. Let's see what else she's saying about it. Also have some glass doors going through to another reception room. I can't open these doors. I'm going this way to find out what's over there. Probably a couple of heroin addicts scratching their elbows. Over to EastEnders now. Linda's still in her bed one minute past the checkout time and the staff in this hotel are very strict. your backside off that bed now. Right, thank you. Bit harsh, isn't it? Elaine has a lovely phrase. Have you heard it? What's that saying? Pancakes are like your children. Because they're warm and make you feel happy and loved. And the first one's always messed up. Oh dear, no, that is not as wholesome. To the repair shop now, a show where people take their old, broken and damaged things and give them a new lease of life. Sort of like what pop stars or boy bands do when they reunite 10 years later. Evening Jonas Brothers, how are you doing? At the start of this week's show though, the filming took place next to an under 18's house party where there was quite a few of them vaping. The guys are a bit fed up of talking about old antiques all the time, so to switch up a little bit, this customer just pulled his trousers down and got his cock out. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's a lovely looking little little thing, you know. Well, the experts seem to like it. Let's see what this lady's brought in. What have you brought in for us today? I brought you a pair of children's leather clogs that belong to my sister. She was um, six weeks at least premature. Mm. And the midwife that delivered her didn't think that she'd survive. Um, but she did survive. Yeah, well, we all figured out that she survived. Otherwise, we'd all be sat here thinking, who the fuck shoes have you stolen and brought in? <laughs> Whilst the reeds are cooking nicely in the ultrasonic tank, I'm just turning my attention to the bellows. Oh, tell us more about the bellows. The bellows. The bellows. The bellows. The bellows. The bellows really are the, the lungs of the instrument. The lungs of the instrument, okay. They provide the suction which actually operates the reeds. There's quite a lot of little holes. And holes, okay. So they're like lungs, but if they had loads of holes in them, as if you'd just been stabbed? Over to Mark Wright's new show now, A Wright Family Holiday. I think that's quite nice though, two brothers and a dad going on an adventure. In an hour or so's time, we're going into the unknown. 
Uh, does Dad know that they're not going on I'm a Celebrity, they are just going to Wales? I think the thing I would be most scared about is the fact that Mark's planned the whole thing. Let's have it right. He's a lunatic and doesn't know when to say that's enough. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. This all seems a bit harsh. They're still talking like he's a kid. He's what, like a 35-year-old mature man now? Like, but... You're all talking about it like I'm still a kid. I'm a mature 35-year-old man now. No. See, that's what I said. I'm a mature 35-year-old man now. No, no, no. You're, you're never... <laughs> Oh, Mark, no, not right next to the breakfast as well. Come on, mate. I was defending you here. All jokes aside, the most important thing is why we're doing it. Last year, Dad was in a situation that means he might not be here now. Gosh, fair play to them, fair play. We're turning that into a positive that we've still got him and we're going to make memories because you never know when that day comes. He lost a bit of confidence. He turned into someone that wanted to sit on a sofa more and just watch telly. Nothing wrong with that though. Sounds perfect for Celebrity Gogglebox. I do wonder what other reasons are they doing this for? I think it's really important that we get away together. We're always with our wives and mum, whatever, which is great. We just need to be on our own, the three of us. That's what I'm buzzing about. Uh, guys, this is starting to sound like you're just a bit fed up of your wives. But once we can do it with at being interrupted in conversation because like that happens all the time unfortunately with our family in this first episode they go into a cave and i don't think this instructor is the most reassuring is there a chance the rock could fall down on us no no is there a drop don't worry you see, he was asked what I would argue is quite a yes or no question is there a drop and what was his answer again is there a drop don't worry mm, yeah that makes me think it's a yes what's dad what you doing here two steps right yeah, but the rock's pushing me off. I know, you've got to lean back. I'm not leaning back. No, just lean back a little bit. Yes, yes, your son's leaning backwards on a plank and you're telling him, lean back more. Over to Love Island now. Sakurai watches Lord of the Rings. I was there thinking, is this going to end? <laughs> like, it went on for that long. I get the feeling that George likes Molly a little bit. Who's your top three, bro? Yeah, Molly, um... In what order? Molly, um... <laughs> to be fair, like, Molly... Whitney tells us her favourite boy band. Take that. Now, I've heard reports that a robber broke into the villa last night to sniff Ian Sterling's pants, but he left his bright green crowbar behind. I wonder if there's any evidence anywhere. What the fuck is this? Andre, I've just bought some chicken, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Should I, like, wash it? Should I season it? What, what should I do? You need to let it marinate. Let, let, especially that, let it marinate. Perfect, thank you. Zachariah tells us why he drove through a red light. I didn't want to stop. I want to stop. I still want to stop. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm so glad the Love Island editors translated this complex French speak that was going on. I would have no idea what this stuff means. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Je m'appelle Whitney. What is this? University level French? I'm not fluent. Mitchell tries to shake a stone out of his shoe. Right. I know, I hate that. Because I don't yeah. think. Whitney turns a little bit Joe Goldberg from you. I like to analyse before I pounce. Molly smells an awful smell when waking up next to Mitchell most mornings. I think Mitch might be shitting the bed at the minute. Oof. But that's good! Really? I suppose it is 2023. Look, you can be into whatever you want to be into. I, I don't want to get cancelled. Loads of people think people just go on Love Island these days for like PR and like pretty little thing and big brand deals when they come out, but Andre's not. He's just looking for a little bit of spare change to be put in his cup from the other islanders. Certainly, mate, you are. Where shall I sit? I'm gonna sit in the middle. I'm gonna be that guy. <laughs> man, I didn't realise there were so many of y'all. That's all for this week. Sorry it hasn't been around for a couple of weeks. I've been on holiday, but if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what other shows you think I should do. I'll be back here next Wednesday. See you then. <laughs>